Greetings and welcome to Our Daily Timothy Time, a ministry under the umbrella of Wooden Cross Bible Fellowship here in Trondheim in Norway. My name is Carl Coates and it's a privilege, pleasure and an absolute joy to be with you once again with an open King James Bible, doing a textual study today, uh, something that I'm really looking forward to. It's going to be challenging. It's going to be rewarding. So please stick with me to the end of this video because it will be worth your while. As you came into today's uh, video, you would have seen the reading plan, the hour daily Timothy time reading plan, 2 Corinthians chapters 10, 11, 12, and 13. Yeah, it is a big read. See how far you can go. And then Luke chapter 3 over in the Gospels. If you make it through that material, even if you just read through a chapter and, and questions arise, please don't hesitate. Submit your questions in the comment box down below. We'll gladly look at them and, and, uh, um, and, and answer you ASAP. Also, too, just very quickly in the way of housekeeping, in the description box down below, there's some really helpful and interesting links. Please, please, please have a look at those links. Right, let's get into what I want to cover today. Um, I'm going to try to keep this lesson as simple as possible. Um, this this lesson is aimed for the babe in Christ. That's someone that's just been saved recently or someone that's been saved for a, a long time but just hasn't uh, 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 um, invested time in, study of, in the study of God's Word and doesn't understand the Word of God rightly divided yet. So this is going to be a nice basic Look at uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. I've got two questions that I want to cover today. Number one, who is Jesus Christ addressing in the verse? And number two, what does it mean for us today? Those are the two questions I'm hoping to uh, give you uh, or submit to you some material for your further thinking and study. Remember, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Also, another passage I want to bring to your attention, if you come with me, if you've got a Bible, turn with me to um, 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy, if you will. Uh, there's a really fantastic, a, a, an awesome, I mean, the whole Word of God is awesome, but listen to this. In 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 13, Paul says to Tim, Hold fast the form of sound words which thou hast heard of me, that's Paul, in faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. Hmm. So, having said that, let that sink in while you're listening today, and for the rest of the day, and for the rest of the week, and month, and the year, if the Lord tarries, that's awesome. Hold fast the form of sound words. So, let's keep this simple. What I'm going to do right now, before I read the verse, I'm going to quickly draw out the Bible timeline, a very basic one, as our Apostle Paul looks at the Scripture and how he sees it. And Paul is our pattern. So, Paul is our Apostle so we follow in suit. Jesus, remember, sent Paul. And remember, if you, and you're not going to, but if you bumped into the Apostle Pete, Peter would tell you, follow Paul. Galatians 2 proves that. Anyway, in the Bible, you've got, uh, you've got three basic uh, uh, times. You've got time past. You've got but now. Now, this is all found in Ephesians chapter 2. And then you have the ages to come. Okay. Can you, I hope you can see that there. In time past, you had the circumcision and you had the uncircumcision. This is Israel. Those are the Gentiles. Okay. Then you've got the cross. Then you've got the early part of Acts, Acts 1 through 7. In Acts 7, Israel 4, they diminished to Acts 28. Right? In Acts 9, uh, 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 Saul of Tarsus gets saved. And it ushers in the dispensation of grace. But now, so we live here in the dispensation of grace. Now the Jews and Gentiles are equal. There is no circumcision and uncircumcision. The middle wall of partition has come down. Okay, so now we go over here. In Matthew chapter 6, you're in time past. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Then you've got the book of Acts, right? Up to Acts 9. This is time past. Our books today are Romans through Philemon. Out here in the ages to come. Hebrews 
to you. Revelation. Okay. When the church, the body of Christ, gets raptured out, the prophetic program takes off where it left off. Remember, this is the prophetic program here. This is the mystery, the unprophesied time. Okay? Out over here, you've got Daniel's 70th weeks. 70th week. The second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and then the thousand year kingdom. Okay. That's big picture stuff. Now let's get to the scripture. Come with me back to Matthew. Matthew chapter 6 verse 9. Matthew 5, 6 and 7. Please treat that as a unit. And you would do yourself a favor by reading Matthew 5, 6 and 7. And also if you want a parallel passage to Luke 6, uh, Mark, Matthew 6. Luke 11 will help you with the Lord's Prayer. Okay. Great to compare them. Now. In uh, uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. After this manner, therefore, so you've got you to gotta take into account what was said up until this point. Pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, and then the rest of the prayer. I want to focus on verse 9. Who is the ye? So in other words, question 1. Who is Jesus Christ addressing here? Now I submit to you, he's addressing the 12 apostles the disciples. Now, I can't just tell you that. I need to prove that to you from the scripture. So come with me back to Matthew chapter 5, verse 1. It reads as follows. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came to him. Verse 2. And he opened his mouth and taught them, the disciples, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, and so on and so forth. Okay. Now you want to take that passage there. Come with me over to Luke chapter 6. Let's, let's elucidate a little bit here. Luke chapter 6 verse 20. And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are ye, and so on and so forth. Okay, so Christ is addressing the disciples. And that so-called Lord's Prayer is a template for the disciples. Now, when Christ Jesus is talking to the disciples and he's going through the Beatitudes, he has a, a further a further bit of information. He's talking over here in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Or if we're dealing in Matthew, right? He's talking to the disciples about what's going to happen out there in the kingdom. He's giving the kingdom living instructions, if I could say it like that. Okay. Out there... So he, the, 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 remember, Matthew, Mark, Luke, uh, uh, Matthew 5, 6, and 7... Jesus Christ is telling his 12 disciples what's going to happen. The Magna Carta, if you call it, if you will, out there. Remember, out there, you're going to have Jesus Christ as head. Underneath him is going to be David. Under David, you're going to have the 12 apostles. The 12 apostles are going to be the head of the 12 tribes. Each apostle is going to be the head of each of the 12 tribes. The 12 tribes are then going to go out to the nations. Okay, that's big picture stuff. I hope you can see that. Any questions, submit them in the, in the comment box down below. So when Christ is talking, so he, who is he talking to? He's talking to the disciples. He's giving them the, the, what, the, the, the Magna Carta for the kingdom. Now, how did, now question two, if you will. Question two. How, what does this mean for us? For us today, what does it mean for us? Well, Time passed, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and all the books prior to that, up to, uh, um, and the books prior, that's dealing with the, the house of Israel. All that material in those books are written for our learning. It's not our doctrine. It's for our learning. Okay? We read all of that. But the doctrine for us that's going to build our inner man today, the books written to us, to you, and to me today, are Romans to Philemon for this dispensation of grace. This is what God's doing today here. Okay, now, in Matthew chapter 6, that section, verses 5 down to 15, that's dealing with the issue of prayer. Okay, so my, my first question, who's Jesus addressing in verse uh, 6 verse 9? He's addressing his disciples. Number 2, what does that mean for us today? In the way of prayer, I submit to you for your further thought and meditation and study that in this passage, this template here is not for us today. 
in this dispensation of grace. Sure, you can pray it. You're free and you, you, you can speak to God, Abba Father, about everything and anything. That's the view. We've got, you know, come with me to Romans 5. Look at this. Romans 5 says it best. Romans chapter 5. Look what we've got here. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Okay, so Matthew 6, 9 to 13, Luke 11, the Lord's Prayer. That's not for us today. We need to know about it, but that's not a template for us. I submit to you, viewer, and don't take my word for it. Go and study it out for yourself. That a, that a, a, a prayer outline for us, a basic one, will be found in the book of Romans, chapter 1, verses 8, 9, and 10. Number 8, verse, it was number 8, verse, verse 8, Paul says there, um, First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all. So there's thanks. Verse 9, for God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit and the gospel of the Son without ceasing. I make mention of you always in my prayers, intercession, others, okay? And then verse 10, making request, if by any means, now at length, I might have a prosperous journey by the will of God to come unto you. Jesus, others, yourself. Now, I've heard that. It's a beautiful thing. J-O-Y, joy. Jesus, others, yourself. That's a template that we should Hold fast on today. Remember, over there in, in Timothy, uh, what does Paul say here? Uh, First Timothy, Second Timothy, if you will. Second Timothy, hold. Second Timothy, chapter chapter one, verse thirteen. Hold fast the form of sound words which thou hast heard of me, in faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. The form of sound words when it comes to prayer, that basic prayer outline. The form of sound words, Romans chapter one, sound words. There's a pattern for our prayer today. Not Matthew 6, verse 9, and down to 13, Luke 11. Anyway, consider what I've said today, please. And again, don't believe me. Believe the Word of God. Go back to the Word of God and see if it's so. If any questions arise from this crazy chart work here, submit your questions in the, in the comment box. We'll have a look at them gladly. Time's up. Till we meet again next time, keep your sword sharp, soldier. Grace and peace to you. Maranoff.